your own bias binding you're making the flat one you can leave the cording out but it let's say perhaps you wanted to make one that it's cord that has the cord in it then you actually have to go out and purchase cording so your bias binding could be flat it could be corded you could create whatever you want so you just have to buy the cording that goes on the inside and just like they did here they laid the cording on the inside and then they just sewed along the edge okay and you would just do the same thing so you can make sure it matches whatever you want to match it's up to you. Right. So we're going to buy this binding. So what we're going to do is we'll lay the outside edge along the edge of our fabric here. We're going to sandwich it between two pieces of fabric. And we have enough here for a half an inch seam allowance. So the eighth that's going to be left over is the part that's going to be sticking out like that. So we're going to keep the half an inch seam allowance. Start by your spine. Oops. Start slipping out. Um, make sure that you pin it completely so parts of it doesn't slip out. I didn't even see that happen. But just make sure it's secure all the way. And one way that you can make sure that this doesn't happen is that you can baste it and then you can sew it. So you can hand baste it or machine baste it. It's up to you. But you want it to stay in place so you get that eighth of an inch that's sort of just hanging out. Now when you do your stitch in the ditch, you'll need to press your seam open. So press your seam open. Okay. And then you're going to press your piping to one side. So whichever side you want your piping <coughs> to lay. Okay. And then you're going to stitch between the piping and your muslin. So what you're doing is just placing your needle between the two, just line it up. And there's really no guide that you can look at, you just really have to just eye it. Your back stitch. And just take your time with it. Just walk it. You want to make sure that you're staying in the ditch so that your stitches are hidden. You need a very slow machine to do this. 
So, and then you backstitch in the end. That's it. So that's my stitch in the ditch. When you're sewing it this way, make sure you press your seam allowance open. Pretty much well hidden.